welcome back to my channel so let's go ahead and get started with the LA girl pro concealer the color warm honey um, this color for me presents the nice nighttime pop that I'm looking for in my brows I do have a preference for a daytime brow and a nighttime brow um, so this does it for me I'm gonna go ahead and conceal the top and the bottom um, some ladies like to draw the brow first and then add your concealer and I think that's totally fine. It just depends on what your preference is, how much brow hair you have and so on and so on. Okay now I'm going to quickly blend out with my beauty sponge. These beauty sponges can be found almost anywhere. I think I got this one from my local beauty store, um, Walmart, you can get them at Target. Um, if this one gets old, I just replace it and get a new one. Here you see me brushing any excess concealer from my brow hairs. Now I'm gonna use my Anastasia Dip Brow. It's the color Ebony. I start in the center of my brow and I work towards the tips. I only need to line my brow that's just the way it is for me um, initially when you start with the dip brow it's going to come off as very heavy so that's why I start at the tips and then any excess that's left on the brush I start to work towards the center I want the center of the brow to remain very soft and natural looking okay and I'm going to do the other brow the same I'm going to try um, I do again I apologize for the view as my hand has to cross over my face just for me to do this side of my brow okay so yes I'm applying the heaviest portion of the dip brow to the tips and then I'm going to put any excess towards the center of the brow again I want that to be very soft looking all right, so I'm not done yet. I know I could be, and I know you're probably looking like, girl, it's done, but I'm telling you, you want the nighttime fierce brow. You want those brows to be noticed across the room, not in a bad way. So that's why we stay away from certain colors. All right, so I added it there, and I'm going to blend again. Now, I don't spend a lot of time trying to blend all over my face right now, because as I said, I'm going to blend as I go. Here is my favorite MAC um, time check lotion. I apply this to my face to make sure that my makeup is going to stay in place all night. Um, no matter what I do and that it's not shiny and you know giving you that glossy look. Alright so this is my MAC strobe cream. I use this to apply right to my T-zone area of my cheeks and my nose, my chin and my forehead to bring that warm glowy golden look underneath my makeup okay now I'm ready to apply my foundation this is the liquid studio fix by Mac of course um, I just love Mac nothing bougie about it uh, I'm going to blend it out with my brush you can also use that beauty sponge I was talking about work just as good again um, I am in a hurry I didn't really stage this to slow it down. I am really trying to get ready for my event. Okay, I'm ready to start my smoky eye look. I'm going to apply this color all over my eyelid as my foundation on both sides. For my crease color, I'm going to use this palette this deep maroon color, um, really you can use any deep color you have. Just apply that in the crease of your eyelid. This is my first time trying the smoky eye in this manner, so just bear with me. I'm gonna make quite a mess. Now to the lower lid. I took a mix of my prep and prime spray and added it to a little bit of the um, Old Darling Skin Finish by MAC. As you see, it'll give me this nice um, aluminum look. And I'm going to do the same thing for under the brow. I use a different brush for under the brow. What you see me doing here is I'm 
I'm going to apply my my eyeshadow, my black eyeshadow. I don't think Max sells that one anymore, but any any black eyeshadow will do. You'll see a better um, angle on this side here as how I do the black shadow. Okay, so here's the black shadow that I was talking about. I work the, the tips of the eyelid and I work it out and wing it out towards the edge of my eyebrows. As you see, the black shadow makes a mess, so um, make sure you have separate brushes for that um, black eyeshadow. Here I'm adding my saddle eyeshadow. This saddle color allows me to blend everything so that you don't have any demarcation lines. I'm adding my gold color again over my brow because I may have blended it too much. And then I'm gonna blend again. Again, I have another brush for that. Um, it, you don't start off with all these brushes. You know, eventually you just work your way up. Here I'm adding my liquid eyeliner just to give it a clean um, liner over the lid. Be careful with the liquid liners because some of them do run, which is why I like this pencil liquid liner um, because you have to have a very steady hand when dealing with liquid liners. Okay, I'm going to use my LA Girl Concealer. I'm going to use it to clean up some of the black eyeshadow mess I was talking about. Um, as you see, I'm going to apply that all the way out to my temple and down towards my cheekbone. my beauty sponge to help uh, blend that in. Okay, so here I'm going to uh, conceal the dark spots on my face. As I mentioned before, the color that I use is not the same color as my skin. I use a color to offset the dark spots and then I'll just apply them with a small brush right over the spot, not the entire area. Okay, so I don't really know what the purpose of this. I just seen somebody do it in a video once. So I'm gonna do it. However, I do understand that I take the highlighter and I add it to my T-zone. And um, I put it over my lips, my nose, and my forehead. Okay, so here I'm taking my uh, foundation powder and I'm covering those spots. The reason I waited is because I wanted the concealer to kind of sit a little bit before I add my um, foundation powder. The foundation powder is my skin color. I do take that powder and I try and blend um, <clears throat> most of everything that I've done there. I'm using black eyeliner just a little bit towards the tips of my um, eyes. And then now, almost my final step, I use my MAC Skin Finish Natural to try and blend everything. Okay, so this is how I want to um, present the nude lip. I start with the color um, cork for the lip liner. And you see me here just lining the top of my lips and around the bottom of my lips um i don't have much lips to start with so i really try and work the bottom of the lip with the liner and i try and get a nice shape to the bottom i do color the middle or the center of the lip so that it helps the lipstick to stay the lipstick that i'm going to use is the shrimp and satin lipstick by mac um yeah so all the makeup is pretty much by mac and as you see here, I'm going to reapply my lip liner because sometimes you can overdo it or I overdid it with the lipstick. So I want to go back and reapply my lip liner. And then I'm going to finish it off with the Satin Slip Lip Gloss with a nice golden finish. I'm going to apply my blush really quick right underneath my cheekbone. This is one of my favorite mascaras. 
it really gives me that volume that I need it doesn't really give me you know length but the volume is definitely there I like this one in waterproof hey I think I did it so I'm just gonna do some last little bit of touch up and please don't forget to click like or subscribe if you enjoyed this video anything about the video thank you